We're brothers. We're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Do -do 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 -do. Give me a high five. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy Jay. Welcome to Jay's World. So let's talk. You know how we do it. Oh, you know how we do it. So let's get into it and welcome to another edition of J Topics. <sighs> now look, black people as a whole, you know what? We have been having a pretty good past four or five days. We've been having a lot of fun with this. You know, we are sharing memes. Y'all, the memes have been off the chain hilarious. The internet has not been defeated. Have y'all seen the memes? And did you know that a black man, a black man created the folding chair? Oh, y'all, I mean, the, the ship was called the Harriet. The ancestors spoke. So anyway, so we're just having a good time, right? Then enters the room, Marlon Wayans. And this is what he had to say on Instagram. How about we not try that in a small town? Shit silly, bro. Let's all just be love, not war. Now mind you, this is under some footage that he picked of the black men that had just gotten off the dock boat and started to confront the white men that had already stomped, jumped, and beat down the black man. First of all, Marlon Wayans, the fact that we even have to address you about something like this is quite disappointing. Marlon, did you not see the entire footage did you not just see that black man getting jumped, stumped, beat, beat down by all of those white people? I know you saw the same footage that we saw. So I don't understand what in the world made you decide to pull a, a Terry Crews 2.0 on all of us. Y'all know Terry Crews, Mr. Tap Dancing, Mr. Foot Shuffling, Mr. Head Scratching, that Terry Crews, you know. I mean, Marlon, you had ample opportunity just to just sit at the table and continue to eat your food. You didn't even have to jump in on this. Now, mind you, Marlon Wayans does have a right to chime in and make his opinion like everyone else does. But, it, but the thing that bothered me about Marlon Wayans was the fact that you literally went out of your way to, to try to craft a false narrative about what happened. You know damn well that these black people did not just decide to randomly start a fight. As a matter of fact, they didn't start a fight at all. Again, you saw the footage just like I saw it. Well, of course, after he made that posting uh, on Instagram, Black folks started tearing his ass up. Y'all, they dragged Marlon Wayans from one end of Instagram to another. As a matter of fact, it got so bad that he made a second post. Oh yeah, this time he called himself trying to, you know, show all of the footage now. And I'm like, oh, okay, so now you wanna show all the damn footage when you could have done that from the very beginning. And then, you know, and, and then the captain said something to the effect of, uh, Y'all got me effed up, now, now, you know, shut the fuck up, or it was something like that or whatever. No, actually, Marlon, you got us fucked up. You really got us fucked up because you tried it. You tried it, and we called you out on it. And, it, you know, and y'all, it's just really making me just think about all of these celebrities now. At the end of the day, we really don't know any of these celebrities. A lot of these celebrities that we've all grown up to love and, and to respect and to admire, they're really a bunch of assholes. They are really a bunch of assholes. You know, it almost makes me just want to just 
go back to a time when we really didn't know much about celebrities. Like, you know, during a time when if you heard from a celebrity, you, you probably heard from their publicist or, or, or they would just release a statement through their team. But, you know, since social media, celebrities, they're just, you know, just they're really beginning to show their asses like my mama used to say. Yeah. Well, after all of the backlash, I guess it's just really beginning to get to Marlon Wayans now because he actually took to your know, video. This time he actually made a video addressing everyone, you know, saying that, uh, oh, it's this social media thing. Y'all know I love black people. That's not true. I never, I never meant that like that. I'm like, brother, miss me. Miss me, Marlon. You know, I, 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 yeah, I'm just so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. And I, and look, I like the Wayans family. I love that entire family because I feel that that family is one of the most brilliant comedic families in the industry. You know, their, their sister Kim Wayans, you know, you know, got Damon, you know, you got Kenan, you got all of them. I mean, it's like 15 million of them. And Marlon was probably one of my favorites. So I just don't understand what made him even want to do that. Very, very disappointing. So um, I don't know. Have you guys heard about this? Have you seen his his Instagram post? What do you think? Was he in the right? Or are you like me? Calling him out and seeing him for the... That he really is. I don't know, y'all. Let's talk about it down in the comments. And, but in the meanwhile, I'm just going to leave you with the song. We got our asses whooped in a small town. We got our asses whooped in a small town. We got our asses whooped in a small town. <laughs> Mr. Jason Aldane. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to rate, comment, and do what? Subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. And after you subscribe, please don't forget to head on over to Instagram. And check me out at jaysworld.tv. That's J-A-I-S-W-O-R-L-D dot TV on Instagram. And I'll holler at you later. Peace.